Hey, fish heads, good morning. Jen Crevasi, Jekyll Bates at Bullshed Studios. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. This is your show and tell. It's been a couple weeks probably since I've given you guys one of these. We've got a lot to go through. I also have iCast to recap for you. I wanted to kind of give that to you in a perspective from a painter's point of view, what people look for in the industry, what's going on with the industry, and first and foremost, why it's not open to the public. It's kind of like a big reunion for the business to business folks in order for them to place orders and catch up with their buyers and sellers and industry pros and all kinds of stuff. So we will go over that in a separate video. But today I'm going to go through the pieces that I've got right here in this big pile of orders that I've been working on. Now these orders should be out by the 5th of August, which is Friday. So let's get into what's going on here. I'm going to talk about a couple of different things. Um, I'm going to go through these little cross. It's been a while since I've been doing crankbaits, but a lot of you guys missed me doing crankbaits and I have a whole lot of fun doing them. So here's some of the patterns that I've been working on. Just kind of kicking it back old school, old school, old school. Um, just wanted to uh, give you an update that yes, I still do them and I still do website orders. These came off of the clear coat rack this morning. So I just, I haven't dressed them or cleaned them yet. So this is the way they look when they come off after I get the hangers off of them. And then they get dressed up and shipped out. And I do have a couple of these extra available that I'm gonna drop down to the website at some point this week. Might be today, might be Thursday, tomorrow the 4th. We shall see. But some 1.5 good knocking sound. It's got a large BB in it and then smaller little metal BBs in there. We've got a Texas Pete. You guys have seen that a lot. That's also going out the door in an order. It's baby bull shad, 3.75 inches, half an ounce. Takes a size six. Little swim bait. Good fish catcher. This pattern here, Lots of fun doing it. Again, I've been doing more for, um, for tournament anglers in the last couple of months and a lot of website orders. And this goes out to one of our tournament anglers who is obviously smallmouth fishing. Bright, bright, bright colors, almost like an electric chicken color, that hot pink and yellow on the belly. Um, asked for a few spots. And then I've got some color shift. If you look across the top of that bait, it's purple and then it shifts into that really cool metallic blue. But nice little dotted electric chicken shad. And we got six of those, so I'll set these off to the side. So I, tr I try not to lose my place when I go, but a lot of the times there's just so many of these patterns to show off. And then I did it also in this single knock vertical jigger this fathead, which also I love fishing. This is a great color to rip off the bottom too because they're gonna see that blinding yellow. They will see that. Obviously it's more subdued underwater. Your pinks and reds kind of fade, but you get that great knocking sound, a little bit of flash off in that color shift blue and in the eye. So great pattern. Smallmouth spotted bass absolutely destroy that pattern talked about on Facebook and I think Instagram briefly yesterday putting together bundle packages for you guys like bait bundlers I know the economy has been less than desirable as of late so giving you guys some stuff that you love to fish the patterns you love to fish obviously this is a version of deeper darker thread fin like that dark sleeper color shad in a wiggle wart a fat head and a baby bull shad so we're gonna figure out some price points for these make them affordable for everybody in our downturned economy, which hopefully will turn itself back around shortly in a couple of months with any luck. Um, a lot of you guys were asking what kind of pattern this was as far as the stenciling on this. It's super clean. I do love this stencil. This is from Anarchy Model UK. Brian, one of Brian Best's Hex, I think this is the Hex Mini, the 33. Brian, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But gosh, that's just 
uh, so pretty. That metallic just shines. And that chrome. This is actually a decent chrome. I usually, the chromes that we use have a tendency to dull when you're adding clear coat to them. And, and that's common. Uh, kind of turns back into a silver. But this almost pulls it off. It's some of the closest that I've gotten. And I will leave a link in the description below as to where I got that, that chrome. And then that is the baby bull shad in the same pattern. So yeah, bait bundlers, three packs, gonna come up with a price point and uh, randomly drop them down to the web. Almost like a cow, those, those, uh, those dairy cow you see. So fun pattern, almost a crappie imitation. Little spotted blood on the throat. Nice summer pattern. Definitely good crappie imitation. And I also have them here in the red eyed version on the wake baits. Little orange on the throat. And a little bit of, wow, well, there it is, that color shift across the back. And you can see that come in. Comes and goes. So that's going to add a little bit of flash and pop to the bait especially when it's moving through the water. Good pattern, great summer pattern, love doing them. Hot tunas, I haven't done these in a while. There have been some customers requesting the hot tuna pattern. And another small mouth killer. Hot tuna, obviously for the bright pink that's on there. Just a ton of fun to paint. Getting back to my roots, enjoying it. Two point five. Summer shad, a little bit darker of a citrus. Been painting a bunch of these lately. You guys have seen the three bar peacocks, those red eyes, red throats. Love, love, love these patterns. Love these patterns. Love the baits. Um, yes, of course. I am sponsored by Catchco on occasion. We've done a couple of actually like three projects together now and working on our fourth, but just a flat out fish catcher. And um, one of the things that I love about them is that they give back to the community and they make it accessible to all anglers at all price points with quality baits. Catchco. A little bit fancier on this 120 in a jerk bait. Almost like that butterfly peacock you would see. Again, beautiful, beautiful pattern. Love it. Do not remember if you guys saw the finished product of this or not, so I'm just gonna run it through real quick. You know I love my craws, and I try and make them as pretty as I can for you guys, go the extra mile, and uh, give you guys something really cool. I am, I wouldn't say prideful of the craws that I do, but I love working with natural colors. And yes, believe it or not, this is a natural color. You would see it in some clear water places, especially after a molt. A little bit more of a river craw. But again, just love, love, love. Always have love painting those. We've got some Cobra Koi. I've got three customers waiting on these. And yes, I just got these back in stock. Um, all of these babies. I have to wait on blanks to get here. So a lot of the times you'll get partial orders. And then as soon as I get more stock in, I'm painting them and getting them out the door. And yes, at my, at my shipping expense. So in case you're wondering or you have any questions, reach out to me. Don't blast me. Don't threaten me. Um, I toyed with the idea of putting a voicemail on here, which was completely ridiculous and threatening. 
and that just that's going to get you nowhere except for um i know where you live and i have your order number and we can call the police so just that's as far as i'm going to go with that it's a waste of breath to do anything else but when you get partial orders and there's a reason for it this is why i have to wait on planks sometimes folks a long-eared get that up in frame we got several of these going out today as well and then some bigger baits let's talk some bigger baits this is going out to Mike Cherry. This is a replacement. And the reason I'm saying that it's a replacement is um, a few months back, I think it was at the Classic, he, um, he handed me over a bait and it was one of these soft tails and it had some bubbling on it. There are circumstances beyond our control sometimes when we were having humidity issues because of production where we'll get maybe a little bit of sealer that's trapped in there or a little bit of mold release that's trapped in there, even if we sand. Now, all that to say, if you leave these things in your rod lockers or on your boats or in a hot car all summer long, that's, that's a buyer beware because you can't really, like anything can get ruined. I can leave plastics out in my car all day in the summer um, and they're going to melt. So be careful, be mindful of where you leave these. And the same applies to ABS plastic stuff. I've seen stuff blow out. It's just super hot temperatures. It's very difficult to guarantee that something might not go like you planned. But anyways, repainted him at, uh, at our expense. So this is going back out to him. And again, I think this might have been an issue. Um, not the, I'm not sure where he kept it. It might have been kept someplace hot, but I believe that this also was a mold release issue. So if you guys do have issues, reach out. We'll help you out between Mike and myself. Two of these, these have been super popular for the walleye crowd up north. These blue lightnings. It's got the fluorescence underneath of it on these Duo 120s. Love that shift, almost looks like lava underneath on the throat. There's that. Two perch. I think I probably have shown this one before. But then we did the nine inch in the same pattern. These are going to be shipping out to the northeast corner of the states this week. I know you guys have been looking at this baby bass over here on a bull shad. Let you guys see that. I don't paint very often this pattern, but I get requests for them. Some of our retailers request them from time to time. And we do, on occasion, very small batch limited customs for retailers. And this also finishes up an order for a client who has been very, very, very patient. And I'm going to show you, last but not least, I'm going to show you one of the things that took this order a very long time, because it's not very often where I get a chance to paint a storyboard from Star Wars onto a very large swim bait. So let me show you guys this 11-inch bullshad huge swim bait, huge-ass swim bait, with the Mandalorian storyboard on one side, And then a Boba Fett scene with his ship in the background on the other. It is not often that a client will request something that's as complicated because I have to use mixed media on this. So it means I have to clear it a couple of different ways and get the mixed media to stick. I know he's not going to fish this, um, but it, it does need to last. 
So these have to be specially coated and treated, especially when you're working with things like alcohols and indias and the things that you would normally place on canvas and other types of storyboard. So there's just a lot of, a lot of work that goes into this. So I did show part of the processes on Instagram reels and Facebook stories, but this is how that turned out. And folks, that is all the news that's fit to print today. Jen Cravasi signing off. So have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I will link the chromes that I use in the description below. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.